in ter- if, if you sort of zoom out towards the general problem that we're facing, right? Increasingly tyrannical state and whatnot. Like, how do you how do you see it? How do you see kind of Bitcoin's role in, in the path ahead? Like in the next year, two years, five years. Well, I think that from from everything that I can see, see small businesses are completely on the rocks. They're being, you know, systematically and in my view, deliberately destroyed. Um, so as more and more people uh, lose their jobs, I think there is going to be a trigger point or a kind of, uh, yeah, a, a point where it's impossible to stay in the economy because there will be so many people who are out of work because they've been locked down for all this time and they haven't been able to maintain their businesses. They've had to pay their rents. Uh, you know, but they're not getting any income. And I think that small businesses will be crushed. And I think at that point, the government will come in and say, oh, hey, you know, like we've got a solution. We're going to give you all UBI. I think that, you know, this kind of whole furlough thing is just a stepping stone towards UBI. Um, When they uh, try to implement UBI, um, you know, they're going to have to print a lot of money to do that. They're going to have to print money because nobody, they're not going to be actually getting any tax revenues because, you know, so many people are out of work. Um, so they're going to have to print that money. So that's going to cause a kind of hyperinflationary risk. And my belief is that the only way to get around that hyperinflationary risk is to essentially uh, control people's ability to spend their money. Because if you uh, have, you know, money just being printed and given to people, but it's being printed every day, it's going to be losing its value. So, you know, people's incentive in that scenario will be, well, I'm just going to go and buy stocks. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take my UBI money. I'm going to go buy stocks. I'm going to go and buy gold. I'm going to go and buy you know, anything that holds its value, Bitcoin. So I think that they can't have that risk. So I think that at the point where they bring in UBI, they'll probably bring in some kind of central bank digital currency, which they can mm. then be in control. So then if you try to buy anything, which is going to hold this value, they can just say, nope, sorry, like uh, you can't spend on that. Oh, you can't send that, send that money to a Bitcoin exchange. So I see the day coming where you won't even be able to send money to a Bitcoin exchange at all because they will say, well, um, you know, we're going to block that transaction because if you can buy Bitcoin, then essentially this whole rate reset um, is going to fall on its ass because um, they need, because you're going to escape their, their, the kind of compounds, the compounds of the system. You're just going to take your fiat, you buy Bitcoin, mm-hmm. and then you go and use Bitcoin for, for everything. So I think that it's going to come with this huge amount of control. So, you'll still be able to buy Bitcoin even in that, even that scenario because, you know, people will always find a way where, like, where there's a will, there's a way. So, um, but I think it could become more difficult. And I, and I definitely see a collision coming between, you know, this kind of decentralized world, world of Bitcoin and the centralized world of central bank digital currencies. I see them coming onto a head, a head tag collision and, um, you know, look like, thankfully, I think a kind of game theory um, and incentives are all in favor of Bitcoin being the, the kind of winner in that scenario because, you know, they're going to be relying on things like propaganda and saying, oh, mm. Bitcoin's bad for the environment, Bitcoin's uh, doing this and the other. But, but when you're like, well, okay, if I don't buy Bitcoin, then my money is going to be worth half what it is next week. Or, you know, I can't spend my money on what I want to spend it to because it's being mm. tracked and traced and et cetera. I think that at some point, you know, the, those kind of lies, that, that, that kind of propaganda and the kind of, social campaign is not going to um, match up to the actual um, game theoretics of Bitcoin. So mm. I think Bitcoin is going to win. Like I'm kind of long term, I'm, you know, very like optimistic because um, people will make the, people are rationally incentivized to make the right financial choice for themselves and their family. Mm. And Bitcoin offers that promise. Yeah. Um, but I do think it's going to get messy. And I think that the early people can, can kind of get onto the lifeboat, the better. Um, and, you know, I kind of hope that a lot of people who are in this kind of freedom movement are going to do that sooner rather than later, because the people who I would like to see on the lifeboat, the people who I, who, who I believe are going to have more conviction and who are going to care about things like sovereignty and aren't going to listen to the propaganda and aren't going to sell because, you know, Elon Musk said that, you know, it's going to boil the oceans or whatever. They're, those are the people that I want in Bitcoin. And those are the people I think most Bitcoiners want in the space. Um, mm. And also, you know, if you've been against all these lockdowns and stuff, you know, honestly, like you deserve the kind of financial re- rewards that Bitcoin's going to provide. It's the people who, are, you know, and, and, you know, this is another thankful um, part of it is that I think that most of the people who are out there, you know, saying, oh, you know, we, we've got to lock down forever and we've all got to wear masks and we've all got to take a vaccine and, you know, all of this nonsense. Like those are actually the people who are very unlikely to be um, buying Bitcoin and to be recognizing these things because they are ultimately have a kind of collectivist um, mindset of, 
you know, just believing that there, there's no such thing, uh, you know, as the individual, there's no such thing as individual sovereignty and, you know, mm. all, all these other things. So I'm kind of thank, I'm kind of grateful that right people are coming into Bitcoin now. And I think that those are going to be the people who, who are more uh, financially well off in the future. And um, I think everyone will ultimately come to it because everyone's going to have a certain point where they realize, you know, I'm just getting screwed by the system and I'm going yeah. to be on a debt treadmill for the rest of my life if I don't get out. Um, so I think that Bitcoin, you know, will win because it's just impossible. Like it's impossible to stop. It's impossible to regulate and the incentive to structure are all in the right direction. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, the, that, the kind of notion that it, it sort of forms this parallel system kind of ties in with how people are thinking about the problem and how they're thinking about the general problem about what's going on has evolved kind of more generally in the sense that when people when it first happened people didn't know where they should go you know running into the streets and just shrieking in people's faces a lot of you know i was spent loads of time just shoving content in people's faces sending them links and eventually they switch off and stuff like that and then you know it seems a lot of the general thinking you know with sort of old frail corrupt systems is that you basically just let the old beast you know the head's been cut off it's like the old dragon is whirling around. You just let the old thing, the old thing run its course. And you basically just, you, you know, you outlast it. You build, you build an alternative, you build a sort of resilient um, resistance to it and stuff like that. So it kind of neatly sort of ties into how I think people are thinking about what to do in general, about what's going on, about the end of this nation state system, uh, this fiat mm -hmm. system. Um, so, you know, so that's kind of quite helpful.